the economic cycle, unemployment, and who's left to bail you out. With the economic cycle seeming more like a black hole, with its long-reaching effects touching every corporate entity regardless of its business sector, it's hard to imagine anyone being able to watch the daily news and not become despondent. For the last two years we've seen double-digit unemployment, the suspicious government bailouts of the automobile, housing, and financial sectors while watching the average private sector salary plummet 41%, while federal employee compensation rose 17% I might add. There's not much of a bright spot to make one hopeful as many seek to find any security they can in their, previously thought of, stable corporate careers and retirement accounts they planned on using to provide for themselves and their loved ones. This weekend I watched several installments of the Discover Channel's The Story of Us regarding the history of the United States. I was struck with a common theme of those that first settled the colonies as well as those who braved the journey here for the next several hundred years. They all were entrepreneurs who were willing to risk everything to reach this land where they'd find the freedom to pursue their dream unencumbered by a king, a czar, or oppressive governance. They were willing to die for a chance to truly live. Most say that this is what made the country become great since the Great Depression and the New Deal we as an American society have become more and more reliant upon the government and large corporations built on greed and the accumulation of power. As a result, we have gradually allowed the carving away of our identity that founded this great nation in slicing away of our self-determination, self-reliance, and pursuit of our own happiness. It's an accepted fact that this country was forged by those with such traits at their very core. Sadly however today, most scarcely feel empowered to use their God-given skills and abilities to seek all that they were intended to experience in life the very motivation by which their forefathers were willing to die for in order to experience. By contrast in today's society, terms like risky and irresponsible have been attached to what was once seen as lofty and respectable pursuits. No, in this culture you are only encouraged as a go-getter if you work hard to make someone else money. People often ask me why I'm so passionate in my efforts to help people start an internet business online network marketing business or any internet-based home business to earn money. It's because I want to help people take back control of their life. I believe that the absolute best opportunity to take control back in your life is through establishing a marketable online business that garners incredible financial rewards and personal freedom. It's a stark contract to feeling like you're Bob Cratchit, working for Ebenezer Scrooge and being satisfied for the crumbs that fall from his table. I am convinced that anyone can make six figures online if they're determined and are given the right information, encouragement and internet marketing training. New opportunities are being created every day to earn money online by starting an internet business. It's been at least 100 years since there was an opportunity where anyone with enough passion and determination could create their own financial opportunity without having to be connected with the right people and have a boatload of startup capital. There is so much opportunity that it's a lot like the Louisiana Purchase where people raced west to stake their claim for what they felt was their God-given destiny. So, I ask you, what stress or problems would you have right now if you created an online source of passive income that gave you both financial security and more time to enjoy your life with those you love? How much would you value being able to make any location your office as long as you had a laptop, thus potentially converting vacations into tax-deductible business trips? What problems do you have that less stress, more security, and a revenue stream of 8-10k a month wouldn't solve? It's about timing, it's about knowledge and it's about your passion to pursue the best opportunity you'll ever have to live life fulfilled without dumbing down your expectations. How passionate am I about this? I'm passionate enough that after setting out on my own online Lewis and Clark expedition several years ago and staking my claim, I took the time to create a map and come back to lead as many of you through the unfamiliar territory and avoid the obstacles. In fact, I've just recently backed that up with a free coaching support for life offer to prove how serious I am about this, find out how I successfully teach people to create and execute their business plans so that they can create their own online business opportunity to allow them to semi-retire if they choose, a year after it's launched. It doesn't matter if you're already involved in an online business or network marketing company that is not getting the results you want or even if you have no idea what business is right for you online. 
I help everyone because the principles to online success are all identical, regardless of your chosen business model. You can even learn to start your business part-time while working your present job, regardless of the path that you determine to be right for you. The point is that if you aren't doing something to build your future then you have absolutely no control over it. Commit to take back control of your life by exercising your freedom of self-determination, self-reliance, and your pursuit of happiness. There's no one left to bail you out and you were always the best option to begin with. I believe that you were meant to experience greater things and I'm convinced that if you truly think about it, you do too. It starts with the first step. Whatever that is for you, commit to take it today. At Learn to Earn It Now, we believe, you are not here merely to make a living. You are here to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, and with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world. You impoverish yourself if you forget this errand. 